The motivation I had to write this book was really birthed at a Tony Hellerman writer's conference. Oh, it's my absolute favorite ever since I did my first one two years ago. The workshops are designed for people who are interested in, be, in improving their craft. <laughs> I'd come down, you know, with my clothes on and they oh my god, <laughs> you're not taking us to school today, are you? <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah. Uh, so the, the, the motivation I had to write this book was really birthed at a Tony Hellerman writer's conference. And it was given life by people who attended. I, I bugged everybody who was at the conferences about things and, and little writing things, and I, I attended everything that I could. And so I'm humbled because my book got picked up right away. I'm Sandy Alt. I'm the author of the Wild Mystery series, and I'm on the faculty here at the Tony Hillerman Writers Conference. And this is June Marie Avery, the winner of the Cowboys and Indians short story contest. And June Marie took my pre-conference workshop, and as soon as she stood up and read, I knew that she was going to be a winner. She just really has a lot of talent. Thank you, Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. After doing Sandy's workshop, I went home and, and redid my, my, my query letter and <laughs> The workshops are designed for people who are interested in, be, in improving their craft. You know what, I've quoted my wife so much that my wife is coming back next year and I'm not. <laughs> um, actually, she does, she has one of these secret weapons that she uses on me, you know, because she's my first editor. Um, whenever I hand her a manuscript, she's reading it, like, she looks at me and says, is there another way to say this? Write that down. Because if you're working on your manuscript and you're reading along and suddenly you get to a sequence that this seems like somebody's you know, written this before, guess what? They have. So you need to go back and you need to say it another, in another way. You need to find another way to say it. That one of the ones that you enjoy the most, like and consistently there's no competition. Like that, the Hillerman Conference is the absolute one that I love the best. Like that because it's for a number of different reasons. First of all, like that because it's Western oriented, like that it had, you know, Tony and so many other wonderful authors that are involved with it. You know, and Gene and Anne are just so magnificent the way that they have everything all set up. And then um, it gives you the opportunity to do a little bit of teaching. You know, it's just a wonderful opportunity to sit down with people who are, you know, desperate to know the information that, you know, that you can impart. Like that. And what it does, it's kind of a, it's a wonderful two-way street because, you know, not only do they get information, but boy, you know, you get information and you get that energy back. You know, that, that it's kind of like, you know, it's a, it recharges your batteries as an author, I think. And so I just absolutely love doing it. Uh, uh, it, it it, that's that's what makes us want to be writers in the first place. So, so that's that's what I try to hold on to every day: the joy of writing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it was great fun. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's the first time I've been back in Albuquerque since I was one years old. So, wow. yeah. this has been great fun. Uh, what did you think of the conference itself? Excellent. It was and it was hard work. People put in a lot of labor and uh, and, and a lot of bonding happens too in, in the process. So so it was great fun to watch and be part of and and learn from. The thing all publishers are always chasing is, what is the next big thing? And it's totally unpredictable. A lot of it is based on what's going on in society at the moment. Today, everybody would go, so what's new? Um, and the same thing would be true with the Da Vinci Code. Books that really hit in that manner are completely unpredictable, but they also depend a lot on a social context that inevitably passes. You can't replicate it, and you really shouldn't try to jump on that train. I think every writer needs to write that thing that is true to him or to her and believe in it, and the rest of it is kind of in the lap of the gods. A clever lie turns away suspicion better than one that you're stammering with. You need to be prepared if you're going to lie. Do your research so that nobody, nobody outside of law enforcement knows how you're skirting that that issue. What fiction is, is lies. I think that that's true. I, I mean, all kidding aside, obviously my book is a fiction. Um, so the things that you, that you do when you write fiction is you kind of, you interweave truth with make-believe stuff. And I'm going to say make-believe as, make as opposed to lying. You've heard from Barbara and you've heard from other people. This is pretty consistent. Remember Tim Allen's advice from Galaxy Quest. Never give up, never surrender. Of course, that's trite, juvenile, and repetitive. It was satirizing a science fiction television show. 
What's the hidden message in never give up, never surrender? Never stop revising. <laughs> and um, our articles became um, featured in the newspaper. And uh, we even wrote a song. Um, it has 40 verses. I'll only do a couple of them. <laughs> you, have to, you have to join in. <laughs> Uh, if I want to visit old Franklin, leaving from old Santa Fe, I'll do it without a wagon, hiking it all the way. Join in. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la, repeat. Ooh la la, ooh la la la, again. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la, once more. Ooh la la, ooh la la la, the end. <laughs> <laughs>